Cambodia has some of the highest rates of deforestation in the world at the moment. And forest fires in their thousands are raging every year. It was reading about this devastation that inspired me to travel to Cambodia to report on this story earlier this year. My name is Sean Gallagher and I'm a photographer and filmmaker. And in February of 2020, I traveled to Cambodia to report on a story about how the country's forests are being ravaged by deforestation and forest fires. And this is part of my long-term work documenting the effects of the climate crisis in Asia. The reason I chose this story was because I read about the forest fires in 2019 a story that was reported by the NASA Earth Observatory, stated how these fires in such large numbers were visible from space. And even upon my arrival within hours driving into the countryside in Cambodia, I was able to see some of the fires that were raging. And these typically burn between the months of January and March. The two main threats to the forests of Cambodia are the clearance of the forest to make use for agricultural land. And typical agriculture in, in Cambodia, especially in northern Cambodia where I visited, is rubber plantations. And much of the country's forests have now been cleared to make way for rubber plantations. The final threat to Cambodia's forests is from timber poaching and the highest value wood in the forests of Cambodia is rosewood. And this wood is taken from the forests of Cambodia, trafficked into countries such as Thailand and Vietnam, where it is then shipped to places like Hong Kong and then into the Chinese mainland, where the rosewood is converted into very high value furniture. One of the biggest challenges of reporting this project was really the logistics of being in the right place at the right time. I had to travel with many of the conservationists who were patrolling the forest, and this often meant going deep into the forest, into some very remote areas of Cambodia, looking for where logging is taking place. One of the newest tools that I've been using in recent years is the drone. For this project, it was really very useful because in the example of the forest fires, which are quite dangerous to photograph, I could use the drone and then get aerial images of those forest fires from a safe distance. The main publication for this work was with Yale Environment 360 and they ran a photo essay online which showcased some of my uh, best images from this project. I also produced and shot a short film titled Cambodia Burning which used drone cinematography to communicate the changes to Cambodia's landscapes. <laughs> I combined that drone cinematography with the words of a Cambodian poet who I collaborated with. And what that brought to the film was a really personal perspective from a Cambodian person. Sadly, the future for Cambodia's forests is a little bleak. Agricultural exports are increasing year on year, and that means that more forests are being cleared to create agricultural land. Hopefully, the work that many local conservationists and activists are doing will receive more attention through my work because they are some of the last lines of defense really for Cambodia's forests and they are going to be the future for protecting what's left.